Uh. All right, looks like a consistent failure versus B Yoshi. The names are just a bit switched, but probably gonna see the. Uh, I would own the Game and Watch from Robert, honestly. Think That's so. what I wanna see. I actually haven't seen his uh, Game and Watch in bracket before. He played it against me, and I think I liked it more than his Me Gunner. So, and I think Game and Watch might just be a better matchup against Snake, just because of the abundance of projectiles that Snake throws out. Normally he plays Joker, but uh, it's also it could be a good choice against Snake. Yeah, I haven't seen the Joker recently. I've I have faith in it as well, but no matter what, James is going to be tough because he is, uh, he's pretty good. He's pretty good at this game. He's decent. Yeah. So it's tough. It's, uh, it's always going to be a tough match to play, even for, I don't think there's an any, I don't think there's anyone on this campus where this is not a tough match. But, uh, let's see who Robert, decides to go. according to him, has been playing very well today, but All right. even so, yeah, I mean, we'll see what CF has to say about that. Uh, do you know what character do you think he's going to be going here? Uh, I don't know, I've mainly seen him go Joker at Bracket. But, Joker. you know, maybe he's confident enough with his game to watch now. Alright. You know, I, I have faith either way, but... I think a game and watch would be cool. We really don't have anyone who even, like... Even as a tertiary character, no one really plays Game Watch here, besides Robert. Yeah. So that'd be cool to have one. Quite, quite curious. Uh, going back. All right. Got it sorted out. Uh, looks like they're just gonna be going battlefield. This might be a button check, though. Seems that CF generally likes to start with a button check. Uh, game and watch. All right, there it is. That solves that. This should be a button met, uh, button check, but uh, yeah, I suppose. Practicing those as parries. Um. All right. Make sure everything's working fine. So you said uh, Game and Watch might be a good choice against me. Why do you think so? Um, I mean, I just think because the bucket is, I'd imagine, would make it pretty difficult for Snake to do his usual Snake things. That's because of uh, CF generally, his neutral consists of like. When, you're, when he's waiting for the other person to approach, she throws out a lot of nades. And anything that can really slow that, that process down for him, I think, would put the Yoshi in a much more advantageous position. Should it absorb the mortar and stuff, too? Uh, it should. Okay. It should. It might be more tricky. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that goes pretty fast, but... Yeah, it might be tricky. And the also thing is that... Game Watch can't really afford to get that much percent, like by missing Bucket, just because he's such a ridiculously light character. Yeah, that's the only thing that might be that might make uh, yeah. might make this matchup tough. Because uh, Snake's like he's one of the heaviest characters in this game, actually. That's not he's like one of the heaviest characters that's not like 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 Bowser. The other thing, yeah. The other thing that I think might be a problem is that. I don't know how good Game & Watch's approaches are. Usually when you're playing against Snake, you have to be the one approaching yeah. you the projectiles, but maybe Bucket changes that, we'll see. Yeah, it might. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. I sort of agree with that. I know the the fried egg move, whatever it's called. I don't, I'm not sure if that would help a lot, but it seems like Big Yoshi's just getting right in there right off the bat. Yeah, uh, I think it's a good team. All right, looks like that was able to clip the the up smash on Snake. Ooh, good punish. Right All right, let's go, Big Yoshi. He's doing a great job of just removing any space that Snake is, attempts to create. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that reflects it, is what it is. I see. Interesting. 
Oh, I I expected a down smash there. That was interesting. Um. All right. Okay. It, it reflects it, so it's not it's not as good as being able to charge it up, but I'm sure a lot better. Yeah. I said still definitely a helpful tool and great down smash to live for. Yeah, that was uh. See that that's the annoying part. I'm not sure if Game Watch struggles to kill here, but like when they both attack about percent at the same rate and then Snake is able to steal out the kill, that's gonna be a little bit of aggravating. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm not sure if that up air actually kills. Interesting. interesting. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was interesting. I'm surprised that worked. Yeah. Um interesting back air approaches. Gonna get him with the get him attack. But he's still struggling to get any type of kill confirmed. Maybe a down smash there? I'm not really sure that back here is what you want to be going for at this percent. Ooh, he's gonna blow him up there, not able to get the up tilt. Snake's really gonna start fishing for that at this percent. Because we're already looking at kill percent for Gibbs. He's going off stage, but he can just recover high, and I don't know if uh, punishing with an up air is gonna get the kill. Ah, yeah. I'm not sure. If, can we see Bucket there when he uses that? Maybe. I feel like you might might try going good for that, I'm not smash. sure. Yeah, the good up smash to take it, but uh... That would have been good if we could have got it like stock ah. again. It's, Throws it's out at Uh-huh. Very close to hitting. But... Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's one thing. We haven't seen enough uh... Up beef from shield from Game Watch. That's it's a super fast move. Okay, he did try... Oh, uh, still living. I'm surprised. Uh, up tilt again. Second time's the charm. That's tough. That's tough for Game & Watch. He's really got no easy way to land on Snake, so he's got to change up his uh, his landing options. Yeah, we need to... We need to see uh, uh, the start approaching in a way that leads him getting kills. If he doesn't do that, he's just going to take so much percent from these projectiles and explosives. Uh-huh. Yeah. While he tries to get the kill. <sighs> yeah, no, you're definitely right. The kill confirms are something like... I know a lot of people have been saying that actually Game & Watch is like a lot better than people were initially expecting. So like, I know a lot of people were saying just the fact of how light he is that he's a pretty low tier character, but we've seen a lot of players have a lot of success with him in different regions, though I'm not sure if Robert knows all the kill setups that those players use to great success. Ah, that's that's not what you want to see. <laughs> that's not what you want to see. Yeah, I mean, uh, consistent failure does a great job of putting pressure on people at the ledge. Yeah, no, it's messed up. Yeah. No, it's definitely tough. That's like a, that's like a really unfortunate position to be in, really. Yeah. Just like, I, I absolutely hate it as well. Just he's really, really good at just limiting all your options. So like, once you get in that position, you're just like, I, I have no idea what to do, and you have a right. time limit on it too. Yeah, exactly. You got to come up with an option to like what to do, and you have to come <laughs> up with it quick. Good. I'm surprised you didn't see it. Oh no! He read the air dodge. But, yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a tech on that from Snake. But, if it worked I think for it, that... it was so... Like, he got hit so close to the stage that it was pretty hard to tech. But. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It, it was definitely techable, though. Yeah. But that, uh... You know, this match was looking real close just a second ago. Before he got that, uh... Forward smash read. Yeah. That move will kill. That'll probably kill Game & Watch at, like, 50. So... Oh, he's putting him on the mine! Yeah, that'll take it. Alright, looks like I got a match here. 